Hey everybody, I Curious here. Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. First look. Part 4. I believe it is. So we completed the duck hunting challenge. I went over here and checked out a couple more emails. This one's basically returning a book to a guy. I'll let you guys pause and read it if you want. Um, to his cabin that our grandfather bar borrowed. And then this one down here, which I have active right now, is basically this, uh, this guy, uh, Gerald. His daughter's getting married, and they would like, they, they met in this area, and they would like a um, special dish recipe made from uh, two whitetail hearts, one male, one female. So that's what we're hunting right now. We need to get a uh, male whitetail without damaging the heart and a female whitetail without damaging the heart. So my thing is, I went down here. There wasn't any, as you can see, I drove down here. There was no activity in this area that I could see. So I was looking at the map, and I don't want to get too locked into Cottonwood. I'm, it looks like we can hunt anywhere that that's uh, surrounded by yellow. And this stuff over here is private property for the time being. Uh, we don't have permission. So we need to do, like, jobs for these cabins uh, before we can before we can actually hunt there. So what I'm thinking we're, I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here because we can fast travel to that campsite that we unlocked. And I'm going to go down here, hit this... And then kind of walk along the river and see what this is all about. There's another question mark here as well. So I'm thinking hopefully those are two hunting stands that we can use. So let's go ahead and head down there. I went ahead and bought a deer grunt collar and an upgraded scope for the rifle. That's basically double. It's it's a, It goes from a low quality lens to a high quality. and has like double the magnification. I also figured out, and you guys know this from the last episode. Hold down C to prone out. I figured that out when I was editing the last episode. I'm like, I'm tired of, like, not knowing this. So, I gave in. Alright, and then here's the deer grunt collar. Right here. So, it looks like you... Okay. Hold it up like that. And right now, it attracts females, but as we get better with it, we'll be able to attract, like, lesser males and then top-notch top buck. So, anyway, that's what it is. But we got to start practicing and getting better with it, which I, I really like that system. And then it'll uh, be one of our uh, upgrade paths. I think it's down here. Second level calls available. Yeah. And then third level calls available. So we got to sell 10 calls, sell 30. So get them to actually come take the bait, so to speak. So, all right. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's head on down here and we'll put a little exploration marker there. Um it's 698. Not bad. I'm just going. To, I'm just going to kind of walk the path um, to allow myself. I think the best line of sight. Well, I don't know if I'm going to walk the path. That path looks a little. That path looks like it's a little out of the way. So I think I'm probably. I'll probably just go as the crow flies. Actually, Let's see if we can see anything along the way. Let me get my rifle out here. Make sure we're zeroed in this type of environment. I want to be zeroed to about. 50. Because odds are, if I'm going to have to make a quick shot, it's going to be a close one. Okay. Got my hunter sense going here. Well, I figured out what was wrong with the fatal errors. It was an, a save game issue. Luckily, I save save games every time I play, especially when I'm doing a series for exactly that reason. But it got to the point where it was fatal erroring quite a bit. And then uh, eventually it just wouldn't let me in the game. It showed it running in Steam. But it was just showing me my, my desktop. So. That was no bueno. So I went online. And one of the suggestions was restart computer. I'm like I've done that. Check this that and the other. All things I've done. And one of them was like clear out your save games. Uh, you'll lose your save games. But try that. So I, I did. And uh, I had already saved it. And it started up. So then I exited out. And uh, replaced it with my old save games. And it worked just fine. So. It wasn't my actual save games causing the problem. It's something associated with that, those files that needed to be replaced or something. So I think something got corrupted somewhere. But uh, luckily, it wasn't the save games themselves. Anyway, just saying that in case any of you guys are playing and have the same issue um, where you go to load it up, it acts like it's going to start and then just does nothing. And you look at Steam, it's like running. Like, I'm sure you it is not running. 
So if all else fails, you might need to delete your save game. But hey, copy and paste those save games somewhere else and have them available in case uh, something like that does happen. Alright, this is just amazing. I love this. I'm waiting for this to open up a little bit down here, though. Hopefully once we get closer to the riverbed area, it, it'll open a little bit. Uh, but uh, we got ourselves a little... Oh, we got... I, sh I should probably be hitting these just for stats. Uh, Whitetail. Okay, which way are they heading? They're heading that way. Ooh, hold on. Yeah, they're heading that way. Let me double check this here. Yeah, yeah Whitetail. We're not getting much information from that, but... First perk. Perk gives bonuses and open new hunting opportunities. You can check out and unlock more. Let's see what we uh, unlocked here. I'm kind of curious about this. So we don't get to select it, but the more we do think... Okay, this must be it here. So... Hunter Sense works at 10% greater distance. Interact with 15 unique animal signs, either static or dynamic, achieved. So I like how you just do stuff, and it, it you don't get you don't get like experience points, and then you get to pick what you want to do. Um, you actually have to work at it. I like that. Hold your breath by 25% more. Uh, hit the heart, hit either lung, hit already 10 times with love or action while holding that breath active. Um... That's what, I don't think I've been using lever action, have I? I thought this was uh, bolt action. But I've got 7 out of 10, so... I mean, I'll take it, but I, I don't think I'm using the gun they're describing. Oh, well. Maybe they just mean rifle. Looks fresh. Ooh. Looks fresh, huh? That was an interesting note. So that was some uh, scat... Okay, so we're maybe we're on, maybe we're on the right trail here. Looks fresh. I'm gonna slow my roll here. Oh, that's not the, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. I'm gonna start getting into a little bit more of a stalking mode here. I'll stay here on the tracks. Where are we heading to? Okay, so we're heading down to the river, and it's 7:29 right now. Let's check the encyclopedia. I love how. Okay, that's the lesser whatever's, and then. So it's 729. We're right about here. So they're in the feeding zone right now, but they're next is gonna be water for the whitetails. So they must have a feeding zone down here near their drinking area. I'm assuming they'll probably drink at the at the river. Got some more here. Whitetail. Okay, yep, still on the same track. It's not as obvious, you know, these tracks gotta really. I think one of the perks, if I remember I was going through them, one of them is like you actually get Hunter Sense while you're moving. That That's going to probably be a huge one because stopping every so often is just kind of annoying. Still looks fresh. Yeah, of course it does. Could probably set up here and try to call, call some in. But I don't know if they respond to calls. Okay, we're approaching the water. My scent is going exactly the wrong way. I think that I think it goes this way. Could be off. Not too worried about it. I kind of want to get up into my stand. Okay, yeah, here it is. I think I'm gonna slow slow this down a bit here. Come out nice and easy. Waiting to hear one of them make a like a little call, a snort, or something like that. So we can get an actual location on them. It's actually pretty good, right at the bend in the river. Should give us a decent vantage point of a lot of area. I see some uh, need zone right there. See it glowing right there on the other side? Yeah. Let's take a look here. You gotta be around here somewhere. And that has to be a drinking zone, I'm guessing. Alright.
I'm going to move across, unlock this need zone, see what we're dealing with. drinking okay so that's good that's the one that's coming up now i just need to figure out how i want to set up on this because there's a huge tree line here and i don't know exactly how far out they'll might they could post up like use this need zone from like over there or uh whatever but there's an oh i, I walked right over one when i came across it's probably the same drinking need zone i'm guessing so we got a need zone here drinking Let's see if we can move forward a little bit here yeah let's get low and move at a little bit quicker pace okay so this opens up into like some some clear-cut area Probably going to find some hog zones up here, I would guess. But what I could do is maybe wait until the drinking zone starts and call them in from whatever this... If this is a hunting blind, I'm assuming it is. It's a question mark. I guess they wouldn't make it a question mark if they're all obviously going to be hunting blinds. Because that really wouldn't be a question, right? We know it would be like a foregone conclusion. But you could always, I, I could always sit up up here on this hillside and call them out of the trees here. Um, the other thing I'm not sure about, I'm not sure about most things in this game, but I'm not sure if I can call them off of a need zone once they get there or if it's only when they're um, in transit, walking between them. Let me scope this area out here a little bit. A little glass on this hillside. Okay, that looks all right. I still haven't heard any of them call out either. Oh, is it just a sign? It's not a... Uh, I guess it's just a sign. That's okay. We got plenty of wide open area here to... Uh, shoot from so we can post up anywhere there michael's clearing okay yep that's what the sign says all right well i think maybe i'll stick to the road head down this way and see if we get any calls from over here that one is often though i might return back here um, when the time comes right now, it's almost eight o'clock and it was let's see here. When was that? I wish it would stay on the animal I was on. Um, so yeah, we got another hour before they come for the need zone for the drinking. So let's do a little exploring here. How beautiful is that sun? A little sunrise. I'm so excited to have a uh, direct competitor to call or the hunter. Ooh, it's a red fox. Alerted. Okay. Well, at least we know we're not walking on the moon. There are signs of life out here. Okay, it looks like it opens up a little bit here. But I am, like I said, I love competition because it, it really forces everybody to innovate. To, you know, thrive or survive. Or thrive or die, basically. Thrive to survive is what I was trying to say. But, uh... Yeah, I think, I think it's going to bring out the best in both. Oh, nice. A nice bridge. Let's check that out. That looks interesting. 
Definitely at least want to check that out. I heard a uh, call out. Is that from over there? Yeah. Oh, it's a white-tailed deer. Uh, male, 250 up in the tree line there. We might be able to call. Now, I hope if he's with a herd of doe, they'll, they'll come down towards my call, and he might, you know, kind of tag along. We still need a female either way. Um, are they coming this way, though? That's the big question. That's the $64,000 question. All right, so what, I, what I'm going to do is I want to push into the clearing here a little bit. That way, if I accidentally call something worthwhile from back here, I'm not, you know, at point blank range with them. So I want to be able to shoot all directions well in case something comes from an unexpected area. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'll get here on the collar. Can I climb up this or not? Not really. Okay, I don't think so. Maybe I can, but I don't want to screw around with that too much right now. That was interesting. All right, I'm going to move off of it a little bit. How's my scent going, too? Ooh, it's not good. Not good. Oh, gosh, it's really horrible, actually. That's okay. We got wide open. Um, so what I think I'll do is I'll kind of move up to this tree here. This bush and tree right here. Kind of use this as my little base of operations here. Okay. Called out again. So I think we call, I think we call when it's in the middle here. And it looks like we're in a need zone. Also. What kind of need zone is this? Um... Do I have to be off of? How do I handle it? There we go. Mule deer eating. Okay. Well, I don't want to call in a muley by accident. That's not what I'm looking for. I thought I heard one call out. I'll get rid of that. Okay, it's the same one. So they rarely use this area. So it's a hundred. It's about a hundred meters to the top of the hill. That's pretty good. Okay, we got activity here. White tail activity. Looks like we're calling down the females. So what I might do is take down a female here, watch where the male runs, and then kind of go that direction and see if I can stalk him. So ambush her, stalk him. Let's take a look at our caller. Make sure we're not expiring on that. Okay, it's getting a little. I think we need to call every time it gets in the in the middle there. Where it's the, the darkest there, or the brightest. Whatever it is. I wonder what qualifies as a sold call. Also, uh, there's a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Let me go ahead and take this off the map here real quick. Still, we're still communicating. We're still communicating. Let's try to get them to come this way. So they're 150 now. I think they were 200. So looks like they're working their way this way. Let's see where we're at. We're having a little conversation here. Not exactly sure about what, but. Did I hear something? Crack some leaves over here. I should be zoomed at 50, right? Yeah, I am. Are those just normal crunching sounds? Alright, we're still talking. So let's go ahead and... And they're calm. Uh. 
It's the females that are getting in excited about this. Never worked so hard for a doe. And I love it. Love it. Oh, apparently. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Now, I'm going to let her come down a little bit. Her and the harem, hopefully. Because there is a male in this group. I'm wondering if he just stayed behind and let them go on their own. Maybe one or two or maybe the whole group. Or if he's being, like, kited along with them. So I don't want to just take the shot right now. Because I'm trying to figure, get some more information about how these callers are going to work a little bit. So there she is. As far as I can zoom in there, let's take a zoom in with the uh, rifle, see if it's uh, a lot better with the new scope. I'm not going to take a shot, I just want to see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we need to get the uh, caller going again too, probably. Don't want to forget that. Looks like she was losing interest pretty quickly. Because there was uh, no no additional call. She came down here, was looking around, was like, I don't see anything. I'm gonna, uh, I, mean, I guess they, I guess they're gone. I'm gonna leave now. There, there, she, there she goes. Oh, she's coming at me. She got, she brought a friend. Are they both female? Yes. Both female. All right, let's make sure we don't. We got a male. He's 250 out. So he might not be coming out with us here. But the nice thing is, I think if I shoot, I don't know. I don't know if I'll actually spook him or not. Unless they run past him screaming, run, run, run. Okay. So we'll see how many they bring down here. Another thing to think is, like, if you don't really like the way they're approaching you directly that way, um, maybe intentionally wait on the call and kind of get them to lose interest to move off the side, hopefully. And then pull them back with a call from a different angle. Kind of like what just happened here inadvertently. Yeah, yep. I'll, re I'll return your call. Shoot. Right in the middle. The wind is horrible, though. I might need to consider taking a shot here soon. Just because of the wind. She's still calm, though. She's moving around. I might need to take this one down. I don't want to get too excited, though. She's still calm. She's not smelling me, at least. But she is only 70 meters away. Oh, here comes another one. Is that a male? Nope. Still female. She called out again. I think she calls out right in the middle of the... Uh... Yeah. Right in the middle of that little bar there. That timing bar. Alright, so I'm going to go with um, 50 meters. Aim a little high. As soon as she stops, I'm going to take her down here. She might be within... She might be within uh, 50 here as they're, she's coming up here. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be right on. I'm just going to... I'm not going to aim high. I'm just going to put it where I want it. As soon as she stops. Or maybe I'll take a shot now. She didn't her. Yeah, let me get a eyeball on her. Right there. She was slowing down there. She definitely mortally wounded there. I'm just going to give her a chance to... A chance to, uh, to die peacefully. Quickly. Rather than keep bumping her with adrenaline. Yeah, I'm sure she's already got tons of that flowing through her, but... No need to keep... Bumping her. All 
All right. Well, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and reload. I think we're down to three. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. I'm gonna take another like look here. See if I just maybe I can see her actually laying there. Um, that might be her. I don't think so. But we know exactly where to go. So let's head on up here. I think that should be enough time for her to. Uh, gone down so hopefully we can knock out one part of this objective here for the escabiche oh she died right here it looked like she was deeper into the woods all right that was a good that was a good shot I should probably um, try to find some tracks to some blood to, I don't know if I get credit for any of that, but oh, all right, let's just grab her. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, right lung, left lung, flesh, artery, good. No, uh, no heart. So that uh, it was just above the heart there. So it was pretty much where I wanted it to be. Yeah, she bled out really quick because that heart or that artery was a big one, as you can see, and that right lung. So it didn't take too long. All right, good deal. Let's go and sell her. Venison heart, escabeche it is. Ah, uh, yes, I was saying it right. I wasn't sure if I was like hundred percent saying it right, but so I think we had a deer over here that I was hearing. Um, need zones. Ah, uh, I picked up. That's that muley deer need zone. I think I had one that I was calling out to right about in here. Um, so we'll we'll head up. I'm gonna head. Let me see if I go up and over. Maybe I'll, the wind direction just is not good matter how you slice it so he should be about 150 away from me now maybe 200 um, assuming he didn't spook with that shot so I'm gonna get low see if I can creep in on him and find him in the area somewhere he is talkative he does uh, he does have a voice he's not a, not a mute or anything like that so I just won't be able to pull him in. Now, the question is, did I actually get credit for selling that call? Ah, yes. One out of ten. Wonderful. Oh, my gosh. I am looking forward to playing this all winter long. All fall, winter. It's going to be so nice. It's almost like they took all my critiques about call of the wild and address them oh got something here pheasant ah it's just a pheasant 150 I don't like that I don't want him to spook and then cause you know a chain reaction of animal spooking but uh let's uh, follow this deer trail here see where this goes this is going this way it's white tail let's see if we can find some droppings up here I probably should glass this area before I go too much further before I get too focused on the trail in front of me Okay, so we got a pheasant here. Adult male, calm. Okay, so I know where you're at at least. What we got over here? Did I, I pick something up? I didn't actually see it, but it's probably another pheasant, honestly. They do. Yeah, that was a pheasant. Okay. Another pheasant. Yeah, I saw it briefly pop up on the screen. Well, I know to avoid those trees then. This deer trail is probably going to go right through that forest. It looks like it is. I'm not going to go that way. What we got here? Oh, just, just some tall grass that kind of looked like deer a little bit, slightly. What's this over here? Did I just see a need zone? Yes. I saw something right here. That's just pheasant. Okay. Of course. When I'm not looking for... Oh, this opens up big time down here. And there is a... That's the bridge. Wait, something called. Yeah, it's a muley. I don't want muley. You think I could just take the muley down and give them the heart and they never know the difference? Like... Or you think they'd figure that out? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I should just be able to give them a mule deer. They never know. It's escabiche. It's not like something that they eat all the time that they're going to be like, wait, this is nothing like what I had three days ago. All right. 
Well, I'm going to head down here. I know there's mule deer down here. But uh, I'm not looking for them. But sometimes the herds kind of like to hang a little bit together. Especially it's drinking time. So I think maybe getting down closer to the water is going to be a prudent move. We sh shall soon see. I don't know. Oh, did I hear something? I heard something unique. Maybe not. It's pheasants. Making quite the racket over there. So I'm going to go up into this tree line here and kind of peek down over this little, like, knoll that we have in front of us. All right, let me go and get this off the map. And that looks like a hunting stand. Good to know we got ourselves a need zone right here. I'm going to unlock that. Probably more pheasant. Is this down here? Or am I just... Nope. I'm just imagining things again. It's a mule deer. Not, not what I'm looking for at all. But when it comes time to go find mule deer, we'll have a little bit of uh, info. So... It might pay off in the future. Just not the immediate future. Okay, let's, let's, let's glass this area because this is a good vantage. Okay, we got we got the muleys down here by the hunting stand. Yeah. All right. Mature male. Female. Just hanging. What is this down here? Is that something? What is that? Is that a fox? That kind of looks like a fox. Let me get out my rifle. I can get a little more zoom on this thing. What is that? That's 100%. That's a fox. Yep, that's a red fox. Okay, what else we got out here? Take it nice and slow. I think they should be in there. The muleys and the whitetail all have the same need zone times as well, so... If whitetail are drinking, so are the muleys. If they're eating, so are the muleys. So on and so forth. So that's easy to keep track of. All right, I'm going to try to s split the groups here. Because there was a whitetail male out here calling out. I'm waiting for... Uh, I see some, another need zone right in front of me. Yeah. It's a mule deer resting zone. It's pro I think it's probably part of the same one that we were just, just at. Yeah. Oh, we got something moving here. It's a mule deer. Calm. So she has no idea. Who are you with? Are you just run. She's rolling solo? Or is she just running to catch, catch up with her group boat down here? What do we got here? Some pheasant? I didn't even see it. Oh, right there. There's three of them right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's a, she's uh she's in route right now. Check this area back here. There has got to be some white tail here somewhere. What's this back here? There's something that just disappeared. Did you see that? Something ju just disappeared back there. That almost looked like a hog. There, something right there. It's not a hog. It's a deer. Which begs the question, what kind? Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Are those elk? That might be elk. Oh, gosh. I can't see that far. Oh, I can. If I can. Yeah, that's the muleys. Don't worry about that one. Let me take a look here. Yeah, those are elk. Yeah, definitely. Okay, all kinds of uh, interesting going ons in this neighbor bit of the neighborhood. All right. Now the next question is, where do I want to go? I don't want to go that way. I kind of want to get down to the water, so, but I don't want to spook anything either. Let's head, head down here and maybe hit these islands. So we need to kind of walk that way. That's fine. I think that's fine. Okay, let's just walk normal. Be 
be ready to do a quick spot if need be. Oh my gosh, if we were only hunting muleys. Be in great shape. I think there is that one uh, objective in there. Stand by. Um, let me check here. Was it a muley that we needed to do for deer management? Yeah, five mule deer bucks with a fitness score of 40 or lower. Either adult or mature. Well, I think there was an adult or mature one down here. So let's go down here. Let's switch up our objective here real quick. Be a little bit flexible. Let's go for this. There we go. Switch it up. The wind is good now for us. So let's try to get creep down here. We'll scare him off. Okay. Now the question, I got to make sure I shoot the right one. So there's one right there. There's one right there. There's a female. So we got two. So we got these two right here being the males. I'm going to go for that one first. How far are we out? 183. Uh, we'll get in a little closer. I'd like to get within 150, 125, somewhere around there. And there's no, it doesn't matter where I hit him at. Okay. Well, let's see if we can make this happen. That's my target right there. Okay. And we're 150 out. I say we send it from here. Let's go ahead and do the uh, go prone. Uh, let's zero to 150. I'm going for the big rack. Right? Yes. Keep an eye on him. There he goes. Last spot. I'm looking for the injured one. Hoppy, 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 hoppy. Where's the one that's barely making it? He's probably slowed down quite a bit. He might have dropped back here somewhere. Okay. So if we need, we need to come back, it'll be right here at this little bend in the road. But, uh, Tracking markers. Okay. That's pheasant. Is it fun calm? Yeah, the pe pheasant's like, ah, I ain't worried about that gunshot. What we got up here? Is that my group again? I think that's my group again. So they've set up up there. Uh, it's going to be good to know. Let them calm down. Maybe, might be able to get the uh, second one as well. They're both mature, so... Hopefully this one has a uh, fitness score of less than 40. I don't know how you tell that. Maybe that's something you unlock uh, as you gain perks. Like you learn how to look at them and tell, oh, that one's not quite, you know, it's below 50% or something like that. So yeah, they're, that's my group right there. Are they calm again? Yeah, they're back to being chill. They're at a loud bang. They're not sure exactly what happened. And they're not sure what happened to Frank, but... I don't have to track too far that way because then I'll, I'll bump them a little bit trying to find Frank. Of course, I could take the shot before I find him, but I really don't want to have two deer that I'm trying to track either. It's not ideal. And right back to eating. There's the mature male. He's kind of looking this way, checking things out. What was that? What the heck was that? Looking for his brother. How far off are they? 192. All right. Oh, maybe he dropped down here by the river. This might be an easy, easier trip than I expected. Or not. Uh, 
that's not too bad of a shot right there, but uh, rather try to find the one we're looking for first. Just gotta give it time to time to flash a little bit. All right, I think I might just be better off going back to the roadside where I got the original hit, tracking that way. Yeah, let's do that. I think it was right around here. Well, we can unlock this need zone at least. Resting zone. It's interesting. I wasn't expecting to be resting. Someone called out. I think that was a warning call. Alright, let me find this. Let me find this blood here. And, uh, is that it? I think I see it up in the yeah, I think I see it. What was that? Pheasant. I think I saw something blinking next to this tree over here. In this tall gold color. Yeah, there's the blood. There's the blood. Okay. Now, we can start a track. Proper like. Air bubbles. Slow. 50 meters. Yeah, we act like that's, that's going to be a slow one, but to me it's not. Okay, I see it. <laughs> Did that bother them? I might have to take that shot. That's almost too good to be true. Yeah, I think we're going to take that shot. Assuming I can see him through here prone. 150. Oh, he ran. He ran. He might return. They don't seem, he seems more skittish than them, but he kind of just did like a circle. So he might return. All right, let's move slower then. Okay. In case I get lost. My little, my little breadcrumb. Do it every so often. And now they're excited. He's poking his head up. Let's see what their status is. They're frolicking, but they look they're, they're like going in circles. So that one's calm. Calm, there's a mature one. So we got two more mature ones? Oh, that's a female. Stand by. Alright, there's my one right there. Alright. See if we can bring him down. Oh man, he moved again. Slow your roll, brother. Slow, slow down. Slow. Not that's not where I wanted you to slow down at. Alright. I might want to just deal with him first before I try to go any further. Because they're in a pretty good spot. I'm afraid I'm gonna push him back into those woods. So, he should come back around here. Oh, 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 we got one right here. Okay, here he, he came back. I just didn't see him. Seems like when I switch over to my rifle, he gets excited. So, I'm going to take my shot here. That felt like a good one. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, he, he went down right away. He's right there. So I'll mark that. I busted him forward, so no point in being coy now. But at least we got another one. Yeah, see good. I was close with my initial marker. I just didn't know where to look for the blood. So, you make it just across the river, or is he in the river? Could be in the river. Contaminating, <laughs> contaminating the water nicely for everybody.
Oh, he's over here. Is that him? Oh, did he? Did he switch directions? There's something blinking over here. Not sure if that's just tracks or not, though. No, that's a need zone, I think. I think that's a drinking zone. Yeah, for a fox. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. All right, let's head back here. This is still fox. Mule deer. I'll drink his own from Muley. Well, the question is, where did he go? Is he... His blood definitely went this way. Right up to the water's edge. And then, from there, I'm not sure. Alright, let me make a mental note of where we're at here. So we're a couple rock or, or a couple rocks over from that driftwood there, or actually right next to this one. I'm gonna go claim this one so I can start using my markers again. Since he's down, we might just stumble upon our first one too up here. It's hard to tell. Hope the uh, river didn't just like wash them away. It's not that it's not that that fast flowing, you know, it's not it's not rapids or anything. Let's go up here and get this one though. Hopefully this one's less than forty fitness level. Got a huge rack though, I'll say that much. Look like he dropped straight away. Oh yeah, that's where I hit him. Air bubbles fast. Wonder how this worked. Heart shot. That's what happened. So that's what happened. Good shot. Take that. What was the fitness level? Oh, his fitness level is 53. That ain't going to count. Oh, well. We got some money out of it. Yeah. Oh, well. That doesn't count. All right. Well, now that we've done that, I know exactly where the blood is. It's like right there. So head back this way a little bit. Let the Easter egg hunt begin. Yeah, I think it's like it's like right about there. If I had to guess. Stop. I gotta slow down when I look because this things only blink so often the blood is like a lot slower than normal tracks at least for now maybe it'll speed oh it's right here in front of us we found them hey yeah that was a double lung what's our uh value here now he's really healthy <laughs> unfortunately doesn't count but we got a lot of money for him so okay let's go up here and uh let's go up here and unlock this uh deer stand and continue our hunt for uh for the white tails we got switch objectives here there we go yeah i'm looking here at the time it's probably be a good time to like a little segue for the next episode i'm gonna start recording the next one right away so expect it to be uh here soon What we got here? Oh, those are fox. Like flip book, flip book foxes. <laughs> Funny how they're not really that fluid. They just kind of. We got pheasant here. I guess I could hunt pheasant too a little bit. I don't think I need anything. But I really want to stir up the countryside, but I think I'm gonna stir it up anyway. So we got here, adult female. Don't mail. All right, I'll take that one down. <laughs> F 
freaked out the foxes. Alright. Figure since we've already busted shots off in this area, so it's not going to be a big surprise. I mean, everybody knows we're here anyway. And we got 16 out of it. Easy money. Alright, let's head up the, uh... Let's head up the, uh, hunting blind. Or hunting stand. And, uh, we'll end it there. See what the view looks like up here. See if we can spot anything worthwhile. To whet your appetite for the next episode. Probably not now that I've, you know, fired off two shotgun rounds. Just now, but, uh... You never know. Oh, so they, yeah, they, they reduce scent visibility and noise to the animals, so that's good. All right, let me take a quick peek around here. I don't think we're going to see anything in the anywhere nearby except for these pheasants. They never go too far. They got another pheasant down there. And it looks like it opens up a lot back down here as well. So I'm, I'm really excited to explore that area further. See what we can find. But uh, that's going to be for the next episode. Yeah, I think I scared off the, uh, the white tail or the muleys up there a little bit. Just a little bit. Probably pushed them back into those trees. And I really don't feel like hunting in the, in the trees. Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. Y'all take care.